Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations and I'm excited that you're joining me today. This one is a little bit different. Let me let me give you the backstory. Let me give you the backstory on this one. I just happened to catch the show called Next. I don't even know what it's called. It's one of those fashion shows, right? Where they have all these different designers. They give them a challenge. So many hours to come up with a runway design. So, so not my usual thing, but I do love watching shows where I see people create something from nothing, right? I, I like the idea of seeing what's the inspiration and what, what do they come up with? And we know already, I'm not a sewer. So these people sewing stuff and coming out with these great big fashion things in zero hours is just kind of astounding. But I love to see the idea generation. And so the episode that I saw that uh, all these designers had this huge mound of thrifted clothing and they had to only use that thrifted clothing to come up with a brand new um, item, right? That they had to deconstruct them, put them together in a different way. And all of a sudden I had a light bulb moment. And, and this is how ideas hit right? They, they come out of the blue where something just twigs in your brain. So I had been going through my closet just looking at things that, well, mostly were so covered in paint that really I shouldn't be wearing them anymore. And, you know, I had these jeans that are really worn. Um, they're, you know, major, major tears. They probably don't look the best when people walk into my shop and see me wearing them. Um, they're super comfy, but they're not in great shape. And really, I mean, really. Obviously, not looking to donate them because that's just saying, here, throw this out for me. And I also had this, I don't even know what you call these things anymore, like dirndl skirts. I mean, you know, they've got the old elastic waist and but I really loved the fabric and I was thinking I would hang on to this and maybe make some pillows. And then I saw the show and I decided I don't like and I don't wear this kind of elasticized waist anymore. Mostly kind of older and I'm a little heavier and they don't look good on me. Um, and the, it's pretty old and the waistband is worn and the elastic is giving out. So, Again, not necessarily good for donating because although the rest of the fabric is good, you know, somebody's gonna have to do something with it. In which case I decided, why not me? And what I decided is really, this just needs a new waistband. And this is all worn out except for the waistband. And the waistband still fits me. So I'm going to merge the two together. And I'm gonna give myself a jean topped skirt. So in my head, this looks fabulous, but we have to remember, I don't sew. I really don't sew. I do straight lines. So the whole construction of this may fill me with regret, but even if mine doesn't quite work out, it may give you ideas. And really, again, you just never know where inspiration strikes, right? So I'm going to give it a shot. And what I'm thinking is that I'm going to cut this below the pocket line so that I'm leaving the pockets and I need to cut it down far enough that I leave the zipper. So, so I want a fair bit of this showing. And as much as I was thinking, okay, and then I'll cut off the top, I'm going, no, because it's already got my skirt gathered. So I'm going to sew it with the waistband still attached. And I'm thinking this is my brainwave moment. I'm going to sew it with the, that still attached, but I'm going to sew it below that so that then I can cut that off, but it's going to help me keep it all gathered. I'm sounding smart, right? I don't know how smart it's gonna be, but I'm thinking right now, that's a really good idea. So 
first things first, I'm going to have to say, look, covered in paint. Everything's covered in paint. I'm going to have to cut this and it's going to cut below this pocket. So those pockets are gonna to have to get unpicked. Um, that's not fun. Okay, so what? That's my first, I only have to unpick it as low as I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna unpick both my pockets and then um, mark out some of my cutting and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I'm really hopeful this works. Okay, I've got my pockets off and I'm going to save these because they're perfect for doing another, adding a pouch to something. So, you know, when I cut off the legs, I'm saving them too. So, I get, <laughs> is it just me? But I get excited now that I see these pockets. They get, oh, what can I do with those? <laughs> okay, sometimes I think I'm a little weird, but you know what? I bet you there's some of you out there that are thinking, oh, those make awesome for, you know, just is what it is. So what I'm, what I want to do is I want to leave enough seam allowance below my zipper. This is kind of the main thing. I can't sew into my zipper. So, um, I need to leave enough seam allowance below that, that I'm going to be okay. So I'm, I'm going to, I probably shouldn't mark with white because then I'm not going to sew right there and then it's going to show, but it gives me a rough idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so um, just in the interest of cutting this in the right spot, I want it to kind of come up. So that's, that's probably just below that tag, which is about six inches and then a little bit of a seam allowance there. So that is six and a quarter. This is as exact as I get. It's like, okay, let me just eyeball that, right? It's like, it's like, it'll be okay. Because you know what? There's a big difference in my level of perfectionism depending upon if I'm doing something for myself or I am looking to sell it to others. In this case, this is just about me. So... I don't care. I don't care. All right. So I am going to cut from here to here and here to here. And I'm going to try and do that through both at once. Because I'm thinking it's the only way that I'm going to get anything kind of approximate. Oh, that's like double the. So it's a really short mini skirt. <laughs> All right, and there goes the other leg. Okay, so here's the banding, right? And I still have my little pockets. I made sure that I kept those in there. And what I'm thinking, because I'm gonna sew here, and I'm gonna want it sewed, make it easy. So I'm turning it inside out, and then I'm taking my skirt, let me do it this way up. And I want it to at least sort of stay straightish. Straightish. Meaning this angles. And I'd like it to kind of work with my fabric on the angle. So I figure if I take the waistband up so I keep it sort of level up here that when I cut it away, um, because I'm adding some length with this, I'll still have lots of length with the skirt, not a big deal, but then it keeps it nice and straight. I can keep everything even in here, if that makes sense. So the next part is just pinning this and then sewing. So if I, if I pin these, then I'm just going to sew along that edging. Oh, okay, this is where I just logic this out and um, I would need my skirt reversed. 
Okay, now I have it. How many of you were cringing watching me do that all wrong? Okay, so <laughs> this is the way. I've got my top part of my jeans inside out. And I have them so that, now this is the right side out, my skirt, because as I sew this along, when it's finished, I will invert it and it will be perfect. So skirt is right side out and I have it up high enough that I should not be, I don't wanna to lose too much of the skirt, but I don't want to be um, sewing the waistband of the skirt into it. Okay, now this works and I am going to pin it and then sew along my seams, sew along my edging. I'm gonna use the denim as I go around. I'm gonna use the denim as my pattern for stitching. Okay, now, I do think I probably should have pinned a lot more and maybe paid more attention to all of the wrinkles and ripples in the skirt. That's before I get any further into this. Um, but you know what? You know what? It is what it is. And that was challenging sewing as it was. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure that paying more attention would have done a better job. I just want to make sure that I actually sewed it the right way. Okay, I did. All right, so I'm just going to commit to... Oh, look at that. That's really wonky. That's going to be... You see, you see what I'm saying? Look at... My whole skirt's on an angle. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk on an angle. All right, as much as it pains me, I think I need to um, pick out that half and re-sew it. Oh, and it pains me. All right, I'm gonna go get the seam ripple. Now this is not becoming a favorite activity now. I am hoping it's second time's the charm and not third time's the charm because I've discovered I don't like unpicking my work. <laughs> um, does anybody? Maybe not. I, I didn't have much fun unpicking the pockets and they were, they were more difficult to do because it had some pretty intensive uh, top stitching. So, all right, so. Now, that looks about right. Okay, I am, I am just going to commit. I am going to commit to this and I am going to cut that excess fabric away. Now, the one thing that I do not have here is a good iron. And I'm gonna have, so I'm gonna have to take this home and give it a good pressing so that these seams kind of lay down flat. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good press and um, then, I, then I will try it on. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna try it on anyway. I'm not even gonna press it, so I just wanna try it on. This is the only blank wall I have to show you how it turned out. Kind of cute.
cute. I'm kind of digging it. It's got kind of a little bit of a boho feel to it. Super comfortable. I love that I've got pockets. I love that it's got a zipper. <sighs> they were a comfortable pair of jeans, so they're a comfortable waistband. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I think I'm kind of into, I'm, I'm kind of into this whole, oh, let me, let me thrift flip my clothes now. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this one. Would you do this with a pair of jeans and an old skirt? I would love to hear if you would. Um, I would certainly love to see the results. I definitely had to unpick that because it fits much, much better, but I kinda, I'm kinda loving it now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And until then, take care.